December 24, 1959. For nearly two years now on Space Report, I've been giving you details on that enigma of the age, the unidentified flying object. Like the UFO that hung over Redmond, Oregon for at least two hours early this September morning. Point it out to us. Yes, it was right off in this direction, right out east of Redmond on the Prineville Highway. Uh, it came close to the ground and it stopped. And at that time I pulled over to the side of the road and stopped the car and watched it. Well, I'd say it was a, a round gold object that I knew it wasn't a star because it was too large. It just shot real fast to the east. Yes, do you, uh, do you believe in the possibility of flying saucers? I believe in possibility of almost anything in the sky these days. You know, there's so many things that have come to pass, and uh, the government puts so many things up in the air. That the thing seen over Redmond might have been a real machine under intelligent control from somewhere in outer space has been pointed up quite dramatically by the instituting of a new and systematic search for intelligent life on other worlds. Dr. Frank Drake, who heads the project, states flatly that he expects to receive intelligent radio signals from planets of other suns. As Dr. Drake puts it, there's someone out there. We're not alone. Hola. He said this, it made me think, it made me think. 